The subject of affordable housing takes center stage Friday in Maple Grove. A group of leaders, including U.S. Congressman Dean Phillips, gathered for a community conversation on the issue. Delane Cleveland is at the Maple Grove Government Center with more. Delane? Hi, Shannon. This community conversation features some of Minnesota's top decision makers on affordable housing. This group includes the Minnesota Housing Commissioner, one of the executives of the Minnesota Housing Partnership, and a familiar face to the area who now serves on the Metropolitan Council. It impacts everybody. Um, if you're a first-time home buyer, good luck trying to find uh, something that works for you and then not be in competition for that property. And it also impacts everybody across the whole continuum because we have a shortage of housing across the whole spectrum, which is putting pressure points at certain income levels um, throughout the region and state. According to the Metropolitan Council, the Twin Cities Metro is not keeping up with the need for housing that's affordable to families with low incomes. Nearly 9,000 affordable units were added to the region's housing stock between 2011 and 2017. But the Met Council says that's far below the 52,000 affordable units needed to keep pace with household growth. In fact, the region has likely lost more affordable units than it has produced since 2011. Today's gathering, hosted by Democratic Congressman Dean Phillips, aims to help reverse that trend. We have some of the greatest disparities here in our region and state. We need to look at that. And how does it impact our economic competitiveness? Because there, there's a big piece of that, too. And so I think it's great that people are coming together to learn more, to band together, and find solutions, because it's not one entity that has the solutions. We all have to pitch in. Now, it's worth noting that Governor Tim Walz recommended earlier this month his bonding proposal for the Minnesota legislature to borrow $276 million to pay for affordable housing projects across the state. Reporting live in Maple Grove, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News.